Hi, I'm Dale Forbes, and I'm in southern Thailand, just outside of Khao Sok National Park. And in front of me, there's a banana plant with a beautiful flower. And this flower is visited fairly often by a number of different spider hunter species, so I'm going to try and digiscope them. There's a general rule in photography that says that if you're using a SLR camera, then you need a shutter speed equivalent or the same as the focal length of the, the lens you're using. So if you're using a little 50mm lens, then you need to have a shutter speed of at least 1 50th of a second in order to get a sharp photo. Now with digiscoping, we're using much longer focal lengths. So with this particular system that I'm using here, I've got a focal length of 800 millimeters. So that means that I need 1 800th of a second in order to get a sharp photo. So I'm going to take a photo of the banana flower. My shutter speed is only 1 40th of a second. So I've got camera shake in there. You can see it in the photo. Now I'll show you a little trick. If you change to live view mode on Canon cameras, then you can press the shutter release and take photos without the mirror flapping. The mirror stays up and you just have the, the aperture going as you're taking the photos. So take a whole series of them and you're likely to get a sharp one. So we're in aperture priority mode and we've got a completely open aperture. Now in order to change the shutter speed we need to play with the ISO or we can at least. So I'm going to start at my first ISO level and that gives me a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. So I'll take a photo and just just by way of comparison, I'm going to slowly move up the up the scale. So I'm going to sh go up one level of ISO, and I now have one one hundredth of a second. The next step, one two hundredth of a second. The next step, one four hundredth of a second. So I'm doubling my shutter speed each time, all the way up to one eight hundredth of a second. Now as we move up you can see that the that the images get sharper typically depending on how I press but the images get sharper and but what we do see is that we get more noise in the images so it's a it's a compromise between the sharpness that you get and the quality or the noise in the images got a flower pack on the flower Come on, man.